So hello guys, my name is Vashu and welcome back to the new video by Webcool. And in this particular video, I'm going to talk about how to add digital products in multi vendor for Shopify by Webcool. So digital products are only exist in the form of digitally and can be accessed via digital devices. And digital products are like we can say that uh, on the files, softwares, ebooks, audio files, video files. And let me tell you one thing: if a customer pay for the digital products via PayPal, then its order fulfilled automatically. So guys, let's talk about the storage capacity for the digital product. We as a web call providing you the three plans. The very first plan is the pro plan, which gives you the 15 GB of storage. The next one is the executive plan, which gives you the 5 GB of storage. And the last one is basic plan, which gives you 3 GB storage only. So you can choose any one of them as per your convenience, as per your use. So guys, this is our Shopify store and for the multi vendor app, you need to go to the app section first and then click on the multi vendor marketplace. So once you click on the multi vendor marketplace, the admin panel will open. Yes, so this is our admin panel and for the configuration, you need to go to the general configuration first under the configuration section. And you need to enable the shop type first. Uh, like uh, here we have a normal and digital and both. So if you want to sell only add a normal products on your store, then you can select the normal one. And if you want to sell a digital product only, then you can select digital. And if you want to sell both, you want to add a both of product, then you can select the both from here. And then you need to click on the save changes tab. Okay, so once you are done with this, you need to go to the product configuration under the configuration section. So here you need to select uh, or check the tabs that is related to the digital product like here, SKU for digital products. You can enable or disable from here if you wish to add a SKU, store keeping unit. And barcode for digital products, you can also do this from here. You can select for the digital product your Amazon S3 credentials, Merchant S3 box from there. And if you wish to sell your digital product as a service, you also need to enable the from this section. Let me tell you. From here, add digital product as a service. You can enable and disable it from here. So let's enable it and click on the save changes button. So this is all that admin needs to do. Now go to the seller panel and let's try how to add a digital product. So guys, this is our seller panel and seller need to go to the product section, then product listing. And after that need to click on the add product, a new product. So for digital product, uh, seller need to select the digital product from choose product section. Need to add a product name. So we are, let's take a digital. product need to select a product type here you can add a description for the product you can add a product tax product policy delivery days fulfillment details pricing pricing is compulsory so let's suppose hundred dollar you can add a charges tax on this product sq we have enabled this from the configuration section from admin panel and yes so add digital product as well so you can add digital product in three types so very first type is digital product as a service file and as a link so these are the three types that you can add digital product so first you select a digital product as a file here and in the file you can upload the file from here so let's upload the file and we have a image over here 
we have uploaded the image okay so number of accessible days so here you can add the number of days it means that the customer on how many days after the placing order they can access the product so if you add a zero which means the days will be the unlimited as written here by default number of accessible days is zero which means unlimited access to the file for the customer and same goes for here number of downloads that how many times a customer can download the product and if it is zero number of download is zero which means the unlimited downloaded file for the customer and here we need to add a custom field like a, add a path pool and need to click on the save changes tab so now the product has been created successfully uh, let's check this product on the front end so guys this is our front end of online store and we have created a digital product okay and so now the seller can check the product and the customer can buy the product from these two buttons add to cart if they wish to add to cart and if they want to buy it now then they can click on this tab so let's move to the second type that is digital product as a link now again need to go to the seller part the product listing and click on the add product tab now again select the digital product product name so you can check a digital product as a link the same goes here description product description product tax we can add product tax from here product policy delivery days fulfillment pricing again 100 and sq and the barcode for digital product and the, now select digital product as a link from here so now you can add a link over here for the file and let's select uh, the link for that so guys we are adding a link here of our video another video and again a custom field okay and now click on the save changes tab again okay let's check this product on the front end and how it looks like so guys this is our front end and again the product has been created successfully with a digital link this is the digital product as a link product and customer can buy from these two tab again so guys still now we have done with the two types like a digital product as a file digital product as a link and the third type is like a digital product as a service so the difference is between like a, if a seller choose digital product as a service so admin and seller will upload the file or as a digital product once the customer places the order or you can say at the time of the order fulfillment so let's check how to create a digital product as a service please come so let's move to the seller side and again a product listing add product section now select a digital product from here product name uh, let's say a service okay product type description again delivery days pricing is must uh, $100 now select the digital product as a service see there is no option to upload any link or any file you just need to select a digital product as a service and click on the custom field and uh, fill all the relevant details here and click on the save changes tab now the product has been created successfully and as I already told you that the seller need to add the file or any link at the time of fulfillment of the order or after the order placed. So let's place the order for this service product, digital product as service and let's check how the seller and admin can add the file after the order. Let's move to the front end. So guys this is our online store and our product has been created as you can see the service digital product as a service and 131 USD dollar 
and the quantity is known let's buy it and place the order as a customer okay so let me click on the buy it now button so this is our contact information page you need to enter your details as a customer and click on the continue to payment okay so, and here you need to enter your card details if you are paying via online or via card and if you wish to pay with a cash on delivery then you can select from here let's enter the details over here so as a customer i have placed the order successfully now let's move to the seller side that how they can upload the file for the digital product as a service or a link let's check out there so this is our seller dashboard and for the order we need to go to the order section order listing and see here is the last order that we have let's click on the view tab see digital file we can upload the digital product from here once the customer place the order and make the payment it's totally depend on the seller or admin choice so you can upload the file from here and let me upload the file again and click on the save tab see digital file uploaded successfully so guys this is all about your digital products in multivendor for shopify by webcool so if you like our video do give a thumbs up and subscribe our channel and if you have any further query do write us mail support at the rate webcool.com thank you